guys and welcome to Thoughtful Thursdays. This is Meeta Nanda and I am here with your midweek mindful booster. So let's start with the story. This is a story of a hunter. A hunter who got lost in a jungle. he used his navigation skills neither could he find his way out nor could he find himself anything to eat for three long days he was just about to give up give up hope when he spotted an apple tree oh he was so excited so happy Quickly, he collected about 10 to 12 apples for the rest of his search. As he bit into his first apple, his joy knew no bounds. He was so thankful, so grateful to God, to life. But he was a little less grateful when he bit into the second apple. And by the time he reached his fifth apple, he had actually begun to find faults in the apples. This is not sweet, this is not red enough, this is not big enough. By the time he reached his 10th apple, yes, he had lost the joy that he was getting from biting into the apples, but his hunger kept on increasing. You know why this happened? This happened because he had already lost the gratitude. The gratitude of finding an apple tree in the middle of a jungle after wandering in the jungle for three long days in hunger. In economics, this is called as the law of diminishing marginal utility. But in reality, this is the law of diminishing gratitude. Or let's just call it the 10th apple effect. The 10th apple is as sweet as the first one. But if it fails to give you joy, then there's nothing wrong with the apple. But something is wrong with you. The hunter in this story represents us, all of us. The apples represent the gifts that life has to offer. The tenth apple represents the taken for granted attitude that we all have adopted. As we keep receiving the gifts of life, our greed, our hunger, keeps on increasing. We want more. But the joy that we receive from these things goes on diminishing. What are the things that we take for granted? The food we eat, the air we breathe, the house we stay in, the car we drive, our current friends, family, the most important our parents. I think we all can relate to it at some point. We take things for granted that we already have and we criticize the little things that we don't have. Criticizing is a low energy vibration. It signifies and it attracts lack of something but as gratitude is a high energy vibration and it signifies and it attracts abundance the more you are thankful for now the universe will keep giving you things to be more and more thankful about with this thought until next time, I shall take your leave and in my next video, I will be talking about how the mind actually works, 
the connection between your conscious and your subconscious mind. I will be here next week, Thursday, to remind you guys that life is beautiful. It is what you make of it. Think about it. 